Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are making trifle for Christmas. Yes, very exciting. I'm even got a Christmas t-shirt on today. I'm not yet. How's that? <laughs> so we wanted to show you how to make a trifle using one of these cake mixes that we have purchased from Low Carb Emporium. So these are called, these are from the Monday Food Co. And it's a keto cake mix and it has so there's a passion fruit flavor which is what we've gone with today or oh. there's lime and coconut which i thought both sounded delicious for a trifle um, so we actually made the cake yesterday because i wanted it to be cooled for the trifle we've made everything actually that's probably what you want to do yeah make all your bits and pieces the day you before need your jelly to set yeah. it, your custard and then you just put it all together on the day and that part's easy yes so we went with the passion fruit cake and you actually needed to add passion fruit to it which i didn't realize so we had a last minute run to the shops for the passion fruit um it kind of it browned a lot more than I thought this was not even the full baking time so probably a good tip to keep an eye on it in the oven I guess maybe from the passion fruit in it and these are sweetened with xylitol so I guess just be aware if you have puppies in your house you can buy these like Erica said on low carb emporium $15.95 you yep. also add three eggs passion fruit pulp and coconut oil to yes. make the cake yeah and we also have a discount code for low carb emporium that is have butter five so make sure you use that if you're doing an order and i think if you're gonna if you wanted to get some things for christmas i would to put your order in now to make, make sure, sure you, you receive it. it in time so i think it's a good idea if you're not confident baking you could get a cake mix even if you just decorate it up um like for christmas day or if you want to make a trifle so aside from the cake so what we've else got do we the have passion here? fruit sponge so we're, we're going kind of tropical flavors right? tropical i made the jelly yesterday and it is mango and passion fruit flavor just the light jelly from the supermarket um i've got some whipped cream that's going to go on the top and i've got our vanilla custard here that i made yesterday and it's been in the fridge cooling which we've done a video of before so yep. um if you want to watch a video of that um we'll pop a link in the description below so we're going to go cake jelly and custard in the trifle and then we'll pop the whipped cream on top and then to decorate it i just toasted up some coconut flakes in the oven so that will go on top just for a bit of kind of texture and color and then going with the tropical theme I've got these dried mango bits that you might remember from our chocolate bark video so I might just use my microplane kind and of great. And you only need the smallest amount to make yeah, it look really pretty. Yeah and hopefully so. it'll give it a pop of colour and flavour um, but I guess you could also put passion fruit on the top we don't have any left because it all went into the cake. So also my cake has been in the fridge so it's quite firm but I might just kind of try and cut it up. So you just kind of cut it into like squares. Yeah, right? however you want it. Oh, That's the passion, passion fruit, fruit seeds. seeds crunching through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you might want to try a bit of the cake. Yeah. Okay, just sure. remember it's been in the fridge. Yeah, it's so. quite firm because it's yeah. been sitting in the fridge. Oh. Okay. Erica was a bit miffed about the passion the fruit. I know. No, but about oh. the passion fruit going in it. Yeah, but it has a nice passion. It actually fruit gives it a really strong but good passion fruit flavour. Yeah. Which I think is hard to do without putting like Actual real passion, passion fruit. fruit in I mean, it. it's kind of nice that it's real fruit. Yeah. And not like just a flavour or some sort of something. passion fruit mm. flavour that's come. From it's something. nice. You want to try some? It's quite a, but it is a spongy texture. Oh, it's nice. Food. Mm. It's really nice. The seed, really crunchy. You get the seed, yep. Now, I haven't made this before, so you're coming along with us for the first time. I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to do. But I might start by putting some of the cake in. While Erica is starting to assemble it, I wanted to let you know, if you haven't already heard, we have our Christmas bundle, which is the festive ebook bundle on sale now for $29.95 and um, it's got three books, a um, cocktail book, a grazing platter book and also 
a more kind of normal Christmas book that's got proteins in it, desserts, I've which includes a trifle, a trifle <laughs> um, and kind of sweet treats like rumbles, white Christmas, that kind of thing. So if you're looking for a no-brainer, all of your Christmas stuff all in the one place, that's um, an awesome choice. Pick the bundle. Yeah. So I've just kind of done a layer of the cake in the bottom. I've tried to put the brown bits on the inside. <laughs> To make it look nice. I don't want it to. Yeah. <laughs> now I think you're overthinking it. I yet, cut but... the jelly into squares, but I thought I might just kind of spoon it in. What do you reckon, guys? Let's just go rustic, as Dan would say. Mm, that would be my style for sure. <laughs> rustic style. <laughs> so I guess when you're doing it, just try and think about around the edges, kind of where you're going to see. So you want to see a bit of everything. And are you doing a third, a third, a third? Well, yeah, I was. I wasn't. I wasn't going to commit to that. Right. <laughs> You're making me commit now. No, no, no. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jelly's on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> this jelly smells really uh, tropically. I mean. Um, I hope my family likes this. Yes, well, we have Erica's family coming over. I'm not sure whether we um, mentioned that earlier um, for dinner tonight. And um, so we took the opportunity. We will make dessert and we're going to make the trifle. So they will they will like it, I, hope so. I reckon. Because your dad eat trifle. He's very picky. He is day. very picky and he's probably going to be missing sugar. But hopefully the passion fruit will win him over. Abby likes the custard, which is our niece, so I'm <laughs> sure she'll be a fan. Okay, so I've got a layer of everything, so I'm just going to repeat. If you like, you could put some kind of alcohol or something on the cake, but we're not really big. Yeah, we haven't done, I don't think we've done that on any of our trifle no. recipes, have we done any soaking of the cake? We find that the custard kind of soaks into the cake and um, makes the cake all nice and delicious yeah and i guess with this one there's no um actual kind of fruit in it which is like normally you would, would you have fruit in the layers i don't know i think so okay going back in with my rustic jelly also what you can do which i've done on the on our website we have a black forest trifle you can set the jelly in the bottom of the bowl first yeah, and, and kind of layer everything up that way. And in that one, you made the cake the same Red. size as yeah. the trifle bowl. And um, actually, I saw on this, it did say to cook it in a round tin as well. Well, I thought the, the square tin would be easier to cut up. Yes, but <laughs> if you yeah. were kind of going for a really kind of clean presentation, yeah. setting the jelly in the bowl, putting the cake in, and putting the cream in, custard in and the cream, that kind of thing would also look pretty special. Okay, how are we going here? I think you're concerned it's not going to get high enough. Oh, however high it gets, it gets. It's not a big deal. Also, I have seen at Kmart they have um, individual trifle ones. bowls. Yeah, yeah, they have big ones and um, individual ones. So that would be a good option too. Um, and for anyone who's not from Australia, Trifle is a very traditional very Christmas traditional. dessert. Yep. And it has wow factor. People <laughs> want to eat it just because it looks amazing. <laughs> and I guess another popular dessert would be Christmas pudding um, or pavlova. But given that it's um, hot here, that's probably why we like something cold like trifle or pavlova over like a hot pudding. More jelly? Rest of the jelly. <laughs> so in our raspberry trifle one, it's all neatly cut and um Well, I'm just showing a different Yeah, I know. I oh. <laughs> a bit aggressive that jelly. It's very aggressive. Be aggressive. Be be aggressive. But you could do the lime and coconut cake. With these flavours too, yeah. Yeah, or you could do like a lime jelly i guess i don't know how that like you know like a green green, green mm -hmm. lime jelly or a lemon jelly and then do like you can um do a coconut flavored custard okay so i'm going to put the rest of our custard in 
So that was just one whole serve of our custard, right? Yeah, and it was two serves of jelly, actually. I didn't say that. I did the two sachets of jelly. So it was a litre of jelly. Okay, so that's all of our layers. And now There's jelly all over the table over there. There the is side. jelly and custard everywhere. Before I put the cream on dead, do you want to have a little taste? Because once I decorate it, I'm not going to want you digging yes, in okay. there. Yes, okay. But do you want me to get cake? Yeah, I want you to get a bit middle. of everything. Bit mm. of everything. That, that seems difficult. Wow. <laughs> you want me to get a whole piece of cake? Mmm. <laughs> the custard is the... The custard's the winner. Mm. That would be a crowd pleaser at Christmas for sure. That is so good. And then when you, like the good thing is, now we can pop it in the fridge and it'll kind of all mingle Gel together. together. Yeah. And that's what makes it even better. Like it's, it, you can, act, you know, it actually does well to kind of sit. Now I did over whip the cream a little bit more than I would have liked. Because she loves using the Thermomix now to whip cream <laughs> and it went a little bit too stiff. I would have gone a bit more soft peaks, but you know, that we're just rolling with this this <laughs> trifle today, guys. Oh, it still is going to look you awesome. You can't sweat the small stuff, especially no. on Christmas Day, because, you know, you don't want to stress yourself out. Surely it's better to slightly over whip it than under whip it, and it'd be well, you runny. you wouldn't want it runny, but the thing is, you can always whip it more. <laughs> That's true, you can't, can't unwhip un it. it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to try and... Spread it out. Rustic this out a bit because we're going rustic with our trifle. Jimmy, you're going to want to lick that. <laughs> now, we're going to sprinkle on our coconut flakes. I think toasting them is just gives it a little bit of colour as well because otherwise it would kind of be white. All white. White on mm -hmm. white. Now let me try this. I've actually tried this with the... With the you tried it with a bad grater at a um, You holiday. might not be able to see it really, but... It will add flavour though. It will add a lot of flavour. I guess you could also kind of just chop it up small. It might be better than... Or you could... I think passion fruit would be nice. You'd only need one passion fruit to kind of cover the whole top of it. Voila! <laughs> that was so easy for me. I've <laughs> made a lot of dishes, but I want to try and show you guys. So there we go. So you can see, you can kind of see the cake, the jelly, the custard. And you made an effort to get it all to the side and there's still a lot of custard <laughs> coming in. But I think that looks so delicious and I'd be very happy if that was on my Christmas table. Now we can pop it in the fridge to kind of get to know each other and then it will be it will perfect be for tonight. Dessert tonight, so yes. that, that will be perfect. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Remember the um, festive ebook bundle. Subscribe to our channel, we're asking a lot of you today. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye. Bye.